Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone Channel. I'm on a rather busy street, so this may be noisy, but I'm going to shoot this video and try to show you various locations around this city that will be no different than where you live to bring awareness to situations that are highly precautionary. So right here is my, my number one stop. And you see an office building here, and do you notice anything? When you look at this, what's the first thing you notice? The first thing I notice is there's somebody sitting inside that office right there. And right against the wall, either across from their desk or maybe right by their desk, is you have a lineup of what looks to be about eight electric meters as well as the, the breaker box and, and the, the electrical wiring for the entire unit. And probably the electrical fields and magnetic fields right inside that office I would say are probably very dangerous for the person who's working in there. Now I'm going to try to go over there and measure it without um, it making a nuisance of myself because these businesses are still open here. But again, this is the number one location I want to show you. So if you're living or working in places like this, just become aware of what we're exposing ourselves to in locations that are that are that have electrical and magnetic fields coming into them uh, you know I'm also there's also radio frequency fields from cell phone towers but again this one right here happens to be the uh, circuit breakers or the wiring for the building and so that would be exposing people to electrical and magnetic fields all right well I hope I don't get myself in trouble here I've walked in back of this building that I was showing you before with these uh, with this whole array of electrical meters on the back side of somebody's office and you can see that the electrical fields are up to almost 200 volts per meter even this far away all right well that pushes the meter past its capacity right there let's see so a little closer up to the meter, we're up to 400 volts per meter of electrical fields. Five volts per meter are precautionary for sleeping areas. So again, someone may be sitting right on the other side of the wall here in this office. I don't want to take a photo right through the office because I don't know if anybody's in there. But these meters, once again, are right here on the back wall of this office. Highly precautionary situation. Okay, I barely drove down the street a half a block before I've already found another situation. Now, I can't exactly take my meters out and walk onto somebody's property and tell you exactly what's going on, but I just wanna offer that, that right here, you see an apartment building, a residential apartment building where people are living up on the second story and then look at the high voltage power line right above it. And it's probably 30 or 40 feet above the house. Now I don't exactly know the electric or magnetic fields that's coming off that high voltage power line. And it may not be a dangerous situation or it may be, I would have to find out by measuring it. But this is a situation that I wouldn't want to find myself in. Like I wouldn't move into that apartment right there on the second story, right under that electrical line, right under that power pole. So once again, another situation to become aware of, just to raise awareness. Now this is one of my favorite situations. I'm being completely sarcastic. But this is one of my favorite situations uh, to show simply as an example. Uh, we can see what's right in the distance here. Cell phone tower. 
I'm sitting here probably a hundred yards away from it showing you 500 over 500 microwatts per square meter of peak signal strength and where I'm located I just turn the meter off so it's not so noisy where I'm located is in offices for the Forest Service in this town there's all kinds of offices in here many of them and they're all sitting here located at the base of this cell phone tower now I'm sitting here in the parking lot getting over 500 microwatts per square meter I can imagine that some of these offices have more and some of them have less and then right across the street is a residential apartment building so again these are the kind of things that I'm alerting you to so you can see them yourself you don't need expensive equipment you don't need to have a meter necessarily you just need to be aware aware and awake you see a cell phone tower like this I'm gonna scan up here on it a bit more if I can hold the camera steady most of us know what cell phone towers look like these days all right you see a cell phone tower and you don't want to rationalize or justify working this close to one of those or living that close to one of those so once again another location and EMF situation for increased awareness education and for you to protect yourself I'm going to show you another situation that's very sad to me and this is a personal experience because I have a very dear friend who lived in this apartment right here I'm on the street and I don't want to make a nuisance of myself or become too obvious with what I'm doing so I'm trying to zoom in and you can see here's the front door to an apartment where this person used to live okay the apartment is located right under this high voltage line so the high voltage line is well, I don't know 20 30 40 feet maybe right outside of that apartment and it's it's go it runs along this alley with other people's apartments as well and here's something else notice that this apartment is located right across the street from the cell phone tower and this is the cell phone tower I was just showing you when I was in the parking lot with the Forest Service offices so here's the cell phone tower right across the street from this apartment building and that's the front door of an apartment of a friend who used to live there and that friend did end up getting an actual tumor in her brain which needed to be removed uh, I can't say what its actual cause was from but from living here I think it was about seven or nine years something like that across the street from the cell phone tower and underneath the high voltage line I would say that those factors probably were not helpful for this person's health whatsoever so again another situation to bring more awareness a high voltage line running alongside an alley and an apartment building right next door and to add some icing on the cake cell phone tower across the street well here we are in another situation and what these are are these are extremely high voltage power lines as you can see they're running along a road here that goes up the mountain sorry for moving the camera so fast I'm not too good at this but check out the meter it's knocking it over its capacity over 2,000 volts per meter of electric fields let me let me back off a little bit here get away from it when the meter goes and hits one it shows it's over 2,000 because that's its capacity so I'm standing more or less under this high voltage line 
and this is over 1900 volts per meter, five volts per meter is precautionary of electric fields. And I just wanna show you what we have here is we have a triplex. Now again, I don't wanna go walking in there because people live in there. But this is a triplex with about three units. Yeah, I guess I said that once, triplex means three. Okay, so this is about three units it's located right underneath this high voltage line and I'm back here just about equal uh, to the units and this is measuring over 1100 volts per meter I don't even really want to guess what it's like inside of these units I guess I could back up this would be just about inside the units 800 volts per meter of electric fields. I'm going to shift it over to magnetic. Now this is measuring nanotesla. So that's over 1100 nanotesla, which is about 11 and a half milligauss of magnetic fields. With milligauss, a precautionary level is about one to two for human exposure. Here we're over 12 milligauss, milligauss, 12 and a half, which is uh, 1,255, roughly, nanotesla. And again, this is coming off of this high voltage line right here. Running along the highway. And once again, this apartment building, triplex, whatever you want to call it, a little condominium complex. I think you can see that. It's located oh, about maybe 25 yards back from this power line. And I'm standing just about where they would be on their patio here. With 14 milligauss magnetic fields and over 1300 volts per meter electrical fields. So I guess today we kind of hit the jackpot with showing you situations that would be excellent to be aware of for your own situations, for protecting yourself, protecting your family, and just becoming aware of situations like this where there's high voltage lines, where there's cell phone towers, where there are circuit breakers or breaker boxes on the side of a wall where you're living or outside of your bedroom on your house or apartment. Thanks so much for watching.